Hello, I'm Brian with Acme Animal Control. You see here we have a, this is called a honeybee swarm. This time of the year, bees are coming out of hibernation, so they're looking for new places to, you know, look for nesting areas. Um, you know, a lot of times they come down low, they get on cars, mailboxes, bushes, small trees, you know, and they're actually very docile. They're not aggressive at all. So what we do with these guys, we like to remove them alive just because, you know, honeybees population are actually uh, kind of getting endangered right now. So we want to do everything we can to make sure these guys were removed safely. And then we actually transport them to one of our licensed honeybee keepers and they'll send them up in a bee box, you know, so they'll go ahead and do their thing and they'll be safe and sound. So what I'm going to do here is grab a box and slowly remove these guys. And you see how they're kind of all bunched up here? Now the queen is in the middle of here somewhere. So if we can find the queen, slowly pick her up, put her in this box. All these other workers will actually come in here as well. So we're gonna try this out and see how it works. You know, usually it works out good, but sometimes we get a little, you can get a little dicey. So well, we're gonna give it a go here. All right. Look at that, all these little guys on the glove here. You know, so they're pretty docile. You know, they only sting when they're attacking their nest or to, of course, to protect the queen. So I wanna just make sure we get all these guys here. I'm just gonna kinda of scoop them up here. What we'll do is I'm gonna let them settle down for a minute. They'll actually follow the queen's pheromone and they'll all kind of see them flying around the box. They're all gonna kind of congregate in there. Now I'll just slowly close that up and then we'll just load them on up and take them.
give them a minute, try to get as many workers in there as possible. Once they settle down for a few, <coughs> a few minutes, they'll all kind of just kind of congregate in here. They're going to follow that queen's pheromone. Surprisingly, no, they're, as long as you're real delicate with them, and it's all on how you approach them, um, I mean, you can get stung. Usually, like, when we're doing a structural removal and cutting them out of, like, a soffit or a roof or a wall, then they get aggressive because of their honeys in there, their brood with their new young are in there. So, um, that's when we have to put the bee suits on and all that because we're actually going in at them. So, when they're like this, they're actually very docile. You see, just do it nice and slowly, pick them up, and move them into a box or a container, then haul them off away and go ahead and set them up in a, you know, in a beehive. Get them set up yeah. elsewhere. Huh? I read they were looking for them up in Maine and Vermont, with the farms up there. Maybe. Oh yeah, well we get a lot of honeybee calls during the year, and I actually have three licensed honeybee keepers that work for me. Um, and we just go out and just remove them alive. Ed attracts them. There's one on your back. Well, it'll go away. I know it, but you can bring them in the house. Well, uh, <laughs> might just open up to see if there's any to see if any of them snuck inside. Although I, they're all headed down here, so nope, it's clear. Okay, good. Yeah, they just get around here and just kind of bunched up there. Yeah. The poor mailman. Well, they know the mailman handed me the mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mailman's definitely not gonna mess with that. That's for sure. No, he yeah. was quite surprised. Come on, honey. It's just about all of them are in there. We're not going to be able to get every single one of them, but as long as you get the majority of them. The others will go find, the others will go find something else. Alrighty. So, so we're going to do now is just kind of close the box up here. I'm going to push these guys back down and inside. Please. He's going to get a button. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's looking for something to eat. I'm not that delicate. Follow the queen. Just flying right into the box. <laughs> Don't have to do nothing. Yeah, that, that's where they head. Yep. You need to go in. There you go. Do beekeepers ever give you honey? Oh, yeah. Uh, how long will it last? Honey, supposedly, honey never goes old. Never, yeah, it never some expires. Of gave us some, uh, a couple of years ago, and I haven't opened it yet. And I thought, well, how are you? That's probably about it. It just crystallizes and you just boil it. Uh huh. Or you put it under some hot water and it'll clear up their crystals. Okay. Alright, well, that's about all we're going to be able to get. So we're just going to tape up this box here. And here you go honeybee colony, a couple hundred bees off to a new home. Remember, if you have any type of animal or bee issue, feel free to call Acme Animal Control with 11 years zoo experience with the leaders in the wildlife industry in our area. We service everything from Norfolk all the way up to Williamsburg. And if you're scared of them, Acme will take care of them. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>